Champions League final Real Madrid v Juventus will be a cracker, so you better be prepared so you've heard the Champions League final is on Sunday morning Aussie time. You've set your alarm, made sure there's some coffee in the house and have your slippers strategically placed at the end of the bed. But are you really prepared for the game itself? Real Madrid and Juventus are household names and giants of European football, but if you want to impress your Euro knob mates you'll need to know a bit more than that. Print this bad boy out and let it guide you sweetly through the 90 minutes, or 120 minutes, or more. Both sides are champions of their respective leagues the best of Spain and the best of Italy are meeting in this Champions League final in Cardiff. Photo, for the sixth straight season, Juventus is champion of Italy. AP, Andrea Di Marco, having not won a league title for five season, Real's title race with Barcelona went right to the last day of the season, where a comfortable win over Malaga saw them claim the trophy, or it would have, had the president of the Spanish Football Federation turned up to deliver it. True story. For Juventus in Italy, things have been a little breezier. Roma and Napoli challenged but never looked likely to stop Juve who has now won Serie A for six consecutive seasons. A Coppa Italia triumph has Juve hunting for a treble, which would be a quite sensational season for Massimiliano Allegri's men. Gareth Bale might not play what? But he's really good and cost a whole bunch of money. Both of these things are correct, but while he has been out injured, Spanish midfielder Esco has been on absolute fire. Photo Isco's form is so good, he may keep Gareth Bale out of Real's starting lineup. AP, Daniel Tijeter, Bale is fit for the final, but it would take a brave Zinedine Zidane to drop Isco for this game as he has scored five goals and assisted three in his last eight games. Zidane's decision here could be crucial to the outcome of the game, does he stick with Isco? Recall Bale, who is a favorite of the manager or try to shoehorn the pair of him in the same team, tweaking the formation and springing a surprise on Juve? Not a bad problem for Zazu to have, in fairness. It's Galacticos VF cuts well, not really. But there are certainly a number of recycled players in that Juventus team who have reignited their careers and will play crucial parts in the final. Photo, Donny Alves was Juve's star in the semi-final ties against Monaco. But can he do it again against Real? Reuters, Stefano Rolandini, Sami Ghidera, a World Cup winner with Germany and Champions League winner with Real, signed for Giovanna free transfer in 2015. He's now the combative heart of a dynamic midfield. And then there's Dani Alves, the Brazilian right back who was scooped up for nothing from Barcelona at end of last season. If you saw the highlights of Juve's semi final wins over Monaco, You'll see what a huge difference he has made when fit. There are plenty of big money, big name players in that Juve team, but some of the most valuable have cost the Italians nothing at all. Now or never for Buffon? Gianluigi Buffon is an undisputed legend of the game, still one of the world's very best goalkeepers even at the tender old age of 62, or, more accurately, 39. Photo. Is this the year Gigi Buffon finally gets his hands on the Champions League trophy? Reuters, Stefano Rolandini, he's pretty much done it all, league titles, a World Cup, domestic cup after domestic cup, but he has never won the Champions League. Now, he certainly isn't showing any signs of slowing down. Quite the opposite really? He's been absolutely immense throughout Juve's road to Cardiff. But surely he has to retire one day? And who's to say he will get another crack at Europe's biggest title? This could be it for the ridiculously handsome, ridiculously talented old fox. Ronaldo will do Ronaldo things this may or may not include, scoring goals, setting up goals, being in the vicinity of goals, walking around with a huff on, waving his arms angrily when a teammate lets him down, falling over, getting back up, jumping into his Superman pose, ripping his shirt off doing nothing for 120 minutes but strategically making sure he takes the fifth penalty in the shootout so all the glory is his. Photo, Ronaldo has been scoring for fun in the knockout stages of this year's Champions League. AP, Daniel Lacho at Olsa, these massive games were just built for Cristiano Ronaldo, 
and his Champions League form this campaign has been incredible. He scored hat tricks in both the quarterfinals and semi finals, and in doing so became the first player in history to score 100 goals in the competition. You don't have to love him, but you have to respect him. Don't be surprised if he's the difference again.